The case against Joost Klein was dropped today. Here's the official statement from Swedish prosecutors. The fact that Joost was accused of violence towards a woman is absolutely shameful when he was just trying to prevent unwanted filming. It's a bit of an ongoing problem, and as it's generally not illegal, it's up to the individuals being filmed to take action. But what can you do? The options on the passive side of things are to ask repeatedly not to be filmed, which can make you look a bit pathetic. You can run away or hide, which can make you look suspicious, and the most recent tactic of saying the word pedophile, so the footage won't be used, doesn't really put you in a good light either. The other option is to take aggressive action by either telling the person what you think of them, or pushing the camera away, or even pushing the person. It's such a common sight with film stars that the word pap was created, and bodyguards pushing cameras and people out of the way, which although a bit aggressive, is an expected response. As the Eurovision Song Contest is held in a private venue, the organizer has a duty of care to not put the artists into these awkward situations. Any decent cameras are banned for the public, but maybe the organizers need to look at themselves, and consider if they're upsetting the artists with their own filming practices. Looking at some footage from Liverpool, published by the official Eurovision channel, I'm not sure how happy Sean from the busker was, at being filmed making his way backstage after failing to qualify. So, I hope more care is taken in the future, to look out for the well-being of our Eurovision stars, and allow them some privacy, especially when they've asked for it.